This is the third day of Advent of Cyber, and this is a brute forcing challenge called Hydra is Coming to Town. Everyone was shocked to discover that several critical systems were locked, but the chaos didn't end there. The doors to the IT rooms and related network infrastructure were also locked. Adding to the mayhem, during the lockdown, the doors closed suddenly on Detective Frosty. As he tried to escape, his snowy arm got caught, and he ended up losing it. He's now determined to catch the perpetrator, no matter the cost. It seems that whoever did this had one goal, to disrupt business operations and stop gifts from being delivered on time. Now the team must resort to backup tapes to recover the systems. To their surprise, they find uh, they can't unlock the ID room door. The password to access the control systems has been changed. The only solution is to hack in to retrieve the backup tapes. So, the learning objectives after completing this task you will understand. Password complexity and the number of possible combinations. How the number of possible combinations affects the feasibility of brute force attacks generating password combinations using crunch, and trying out passwords automatically using Hydra. So feasibility of brute force. In this section, we will answer the following three questions. How many different pin codes do we have? How many different passwords can we generate? How long does it take to find the password by brute force? So counting the pins. Many systems rely on pin codes or passwords to authenticate users. Authenticate means proving a user's identity. Such systems can be an easy target for all sorts of attacks unless proper measures are taken. Today, we discuss brute force attacks, where an adversary tries all possible combinations of a given password. How many passwords does the attacker have to try, and how long will it take? Consider a scenario where we need to select a pin code of four digits. How many four digit pin codes are there? The total will be 10,000 different pin codes. So we've got numbers 0000, 0, 0, 0 all the way up to 9999, and mathematically speaking, it's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10 to the power of 4, different pin codes that can be made up of four digits. So counting the passwords, let's consider an imaginary scenario where the password is exactly four characters, and each character can be a digit, an uppercase English letter, and a lowercase English letter. Therefore, each character can be one of 62 different choices. Consequently, if the password is four characters, we can make it 62 to the power of four, which is 14.7 million different passwords. To make the password even more complex, we can use symbols, adding more than 30 characters to our set of choices. So as you can see, as the length of the password grows, the number of possible passwords greatly increases as well along with it. And this is just with uppercase, lowercase and digits. If you added symbols, it would be even greater, this number in the right column. How long does it take to brute force a password? 14 million is a huge number, but we can use a computer system to try out all the possible password combinations, i.e. brute force a password. If trying a password takes 0.001 seconds due to system throttling, we can only try 1,000 passwords per second. Finding the password will only take up to 4 hours. If you are curious about the maths, 62 to the power of 4 times 0 0.001 equals 14,766 14, seconds. So the number of seconds necessary to try out all the passwords. We can find the number of hours needed to try out all the passwords by dividing by 3,600. In reality, the password can be closer to the beginning of the list or closer to the end. Therefore, on average, we can expect the f to find the password in around 2 hours. Hence, a four-character password is generally considered insecure. We should know that, this, that in this hypothetical example, we are assuming that we can try 1,000 passwords every second. Few systems would let us go this fast. After a few incorrect attempts, most would lock us out or impose frustratingly long waiting periods. On the other hand, with the password hash, we could try passwords offline. In this case, we would only be limited by how fast our computer is. We can make passwords more secure by increasing the password complexity. This can be achieved by specifying a minimum password length and character variety. For example, the character variety might require at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one digit, and one symbol. So for this challenge, you need to start the attack box, which I will do right now. And it says we need to start a VM for this, so we can go to the very top and do start attack box. Okay, so the attack box is now up and running, and we will go to the IP address that is given for this challenge. So open up Firefox within the attack box, and... What you can do is copy it in the web browser, then you click this button here, which then opens up the clipboard within the attack box, then you paste it in. And now, within the attack box, you can paste in that. Okay, so we are now on the keypad. So you'll notice that the display can only show three digits. We can consider this a hint that the expected pin code is three digits. Okay, so generating the password list. The numeric keypad shows 16 characters, 0 to 9, and A to F i.e. the hexadecimal digits. We need to prepare a list of all the pin codes that match this criteria. We'll use Crunch, a tool that generates a list of all possible password combinations based on given criteria. We need to issue the following command. So we need to open up the terminal, which top here, the terminal icon. 
and we do the command crunch three three zero one two three four five six seven eight nine then a b c d e f and the output is three digits dot txt so if we read what the command is three the first number is the minimum length of the generated password the second number is the maximum length the next parameter is the characters to use and then we output the file to three digits dot txt so as we can see here it's finished generating the output and we're now ready to use it so using the password list manually trying out pin codes is a very daunting task luckily we can use an automated tool to try our generated digit combinations one of the most solid tools for trying in passwords is hydra before we start we need to view the page's html code we can do that by right click on the page and selecting view page source you will notice that well, first we need to turn to firefox right there we can do view page source and within here there should be a form which is right there and it's post and it performs post to login.php so yep as it says here the URL is uh, the IP given to you slash login.php and we can see there's the input element here which has a name of pin which lets us know that the value will be given in that so in other words the main login page is the given IP slash pin.php which receives the input from the user and sends it to slash login.php using the name pin so we know it's a post request we know the endpoint is slash login.php and pin is the key used for sending the data so we'll use hydra to test every possible password combination so we need to go back to our terminal if we type in hydra dash l single quotes two in a row then we do dash p three digits f dash f dash v then the ip address of the machine we then do http dash post dash form we then enter login.php and do colon pin equals then carrot pass carrot and access denied then dash s 8000 so before we submit that let's take a look at what the command is so dash l then two single quotes indicates that the login name is blank as the security lock only requires password so dash p and then the file name specifies the password file to use Dash F stops Hydra after finding a working password. Dash V provides a verbose output, which means it provides additional information to you when things happen. We've got the IP address of the target. HTTP post form specifies the HTTP method used. And then this section has three parts. Slash login.php is the page. Pin equals caret pass caret. So Hydra will, when going through all the passwords, will insert the password into this location. So we pin equals the pin that's in the password file and then access denied indicates that invalid passwords will lead to a page that contains the text access denied then we have dash s8000 to indicate which port number to use so let's run it and see what password was used while it's running we can see that's doing page re redirected to error.php which, which lets us know that it's failing so it says that in this case we expect Hydra to take three minutes to find the password so we can see here this is an example of what it looks like when running it which Looks about the same as ours, we're getting page redirected to machine IP and 8000 error PHP. And then when it eventually finishes, it will say one of one target successfully completed, one valid password found. So the command above shows a Hydra has successfully found a working password on the attack box. Running the above command should finish within three minutes. Although ours is still going, so we just need to wait for that to be done. Okay, so it's now finished running and it says password is 6F5. So we can go back to our browser, go to the pin, and enter 6F5, and continue. And now that we're in, we can see we've got the flag here. So we can copy this, and we can copy, put this into here, which, although remove the AC temperature part, because that's not needed. And then in our browser, we can paste the, the flag into there, and submit and that is the third day of advent of cyber 2023 completed if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on me completing the rest of advent of cyber 2023